Good morning, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 17th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. Looking here at, at her son as we had a plasma filament rip away and wrap itself straight across the sun. You can see it up in the north there. Whipped and moved south right there. That's pretty much the only action we have right now. Small coronal hole developing southern parts. Lots of plasma being thrown and dancing around. Still no sunspots to talk about. Only on the back side as the one had created a couple days ago and was outgoing. Let's look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours as it has been very busy. Just look around the world right now. Most recent here in California, still watching small earthquakes. As well, 3.2 South Carolina and a 2.1 in Tennessee. Watching new, the new Madrid, we had a 5.2 here in Alaska as well that sent out a tsunami warning. 5.4. Azuras Islands region, mid-Atlantic Ocean. Lots of earthquakes here too. In Iran, 4.5, another 4.5, 4.2. As well, watching in China with a 4.7. And also in Indonesia, 4.7. And then watching these deeper earthquakes out of the Tonga, 398 kilometer depth, 4.9. Solomon Islands as well going off. Still a lot of action, South America, Chile. So that is the 24 hours for earthquakes. Let's look at our last seven days. And we are looking at a lot of deep earthquakes right now. Every continent but Africa and Antarctica. This is a situation. I haven't seen so many deep earthquakes in a seven-day period. Quite intense. And for those of you who have been watching my channel for two years, you probably noticed it too. Many deep earthquakes. But still, quiet region, North America, San Andreas Fault Line. Let's get to the tropical storm coverage, as we do have two tropical storms alive and four areas of interest very close together here. Now, Humberto is still going to gain strength heading out into the Atlantic Ocean, which is rare as well. Most times as it comes through the Bahamas into the Florida panhandles when they gain strength. This thing is gaining strength now. It is a category two, projected to turn into a category three in the next 24 hours. So Humberto, rare storm as well. Now we're looking at tropical storm Kiko, who is up and down with the categories just can't quite get itself to organize. And no tropical storms to talk about in the West Pacific, according to this storm coverage, but there is one that is alive. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center. Around the world, we're looking. As you can see here, there was a tsunami alert put out last night with the 5.2 in Alaska. This is a tropical storm, a pipe high, tropical depression. And you'd think in Siberia, we'd have a, a, disease, a disease alert after that large explosion in Siberia where they keep all of the viruses, Ebola, 
HIV, everything, dengue. So we haven't heard anything about it. There's nothing on this map, and that should be on there, because that was released into our atmosphere. Overlooking Spain and Portugal, still dealing with a lot of rain and storms, as that storm is set to head out to sea and then back. And then there's the trajectory for Tropical Storm Humberto, heading into the Atlantic Ocean. To the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Now let's look at worldview here. Have a look at the situation in Bolivia. Still a lot of forest fires burning. Paraguay. Santa Cruz, Bolivia. Brazil. Such a sad sh situation there. And they're not getting the rain that they normally do. As you can see, it's a bad hot spot right now overlooking Africa smoked out in South Africa and then interesting thing here I noticed NASA worldview after the Saudis droned the oil refineries you can see here they were noticeable on a NASA worldview look at that so those are still burning, and that's a situation in itself. Stay aware and prepared. God bless humanity. And please, can we just all get along and love one another? So overlooking Russia, lots of cloud cover. Huge low pressure system in the north and in the south. We're going to get into that with the five-day forecast. Overlooking Australia, still dealing with some forest fires. Now I wanted to show you here, composite image the last two days for weather across the Pacific Ocean. You can see along the equator, there are a lot of storms forming and watch for that to continue until November, maybe even into January. Very intense clouds here in the southern hemisphere. Low pressure, high pressure ridge convergence. And then, yeah, watching more tropical storms develop in the East Pacific this week. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and Meteo Mike. This is a flat earth forecast. I'm kidding. <laughs> I wanted to get a full view here so that we can see where all the large lows and large highs are. And you can see the highs are distributed evenly across the Southern Hemisphere, Northern Hemisphere. Interesting times we're living in. Low pressure development in the Gulf of Mexico. Tropical storm Humberto. Could just graze Newfoundland. Overlooking Western Canada and the United States. Cooler temperatures moving down. Higher elevations throughout Colorado, Utah, snow. As that low pressure develops over Colorado, heads east. Then we have this beast of a low heading into Alaska. It's going to bring heavy amounts of snow and rain and wind to northern BC and Alaska. West Pacific, watching a couple areas of interest here. Tropical Depression, Pai Pai, heading across the Philippines and up into Taiwan and then Japan later in the week. But watch for the large atmospheric river in front of it. Things have calmed down the monsoon season throughout parts of Malaysia, Burma, Australia. Do have some cooler temperatures moving in this week across southeastern parts. 
a little bit of moisture to go with it. Not many cyclones to talk about in Australia this season. Parts of Africa. Daily evaporation rains along the equator. And then watching possible tropical development off the coast of Africa again. And then the United Kingdom and Europe watching a large low pressure system with about four or five low pressures inside of it. Man, some intense weather we're dealing with across the planet. And God bless you all for watching today. Thank you so much for joining Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, where I post my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. As it like to keep aware and prepared myself and do my best to keep humanity aware and prepared as well. Leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern Hemisphere. Thanks for watching today. This is Mike. Stay aware and prepared and get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.